G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for the weekly free instant tournament, the first one of 2018. And today I wanted to sort of focus really in on defense and talk about my three tips for defense or how I go about defending. And the weekly free instant tournament's not the best one for that because I've always got the best hand at the table, but uh, we'll see if we get to defend or not. But uh, in general, my three tips are first, work out where the missing cards are. So build a picture of the missing cards. Second step, which is make a plan. So how are we going to beat this contract? So this is specifically what I want to try and think about. Or if it's match points, how am I going to get however many tricks I want to get? And to do this, you want to go, what specific cards does my partner need to actually have for this to do? And then finally, how do I actually play best to do it? Do I need to rush to do it or not? Can I sit back and wait? Uh, anyway, let's jump in and see how we can go. Uh, 14 points, balanced hand, I'll start with diamond, two clubs, goes past, past me and passing, um, the robots are in the tank here, They're, yeah, so I don't have a shortage in clubs, I can't double because otherwise partner might bid spades, so here it's just a pass, so we get to defend first hand, so let's go through this and work out uh, our general process, Ooh. Should have doubled, partner would have passed that. Okay, so those three steps again. First, where are the cards? Build a picture of the missing hands. Second step, uh, make a plan for what specific cards you need partner to have to beat this contract. Third step, do it, basically. Okay, so to work out where the missing cards are, what I like to do is go, what's my hand shape, dummy's hand shape, missing high card points, what do we know from the lead, what do we know from the bidding? So we try and answer these general questions. So I've got a 2-4-4-3, dummy's got a 5-3-5-0. Uh, uh, I have got 14 points, dummy's got 6, so there's 20 points visible and 20 points hidden. And from the bidding we know West probably has like 12 plus of those, but that would give my partner 8 points without taking a bid. Entirely reasonable when I've got a stack of clubs. Uh, also, we know West has five clubs at least, if not six. My guess is probably six clubs uh, because they haven't made a takeout double. They haven't, like, they've overcalled at the two level over one diamond. They'll probably have uh, six clubs there. So my guess is clubs are 4, 6, 3, not, And it's important to distinguish your assumptions away from what you actually know. I also know that uh, West has the Ace of Diamonds and also the Ten of Diamonds, because otherwise my partner would have led the Ten from 10-9 ten, Doubleton, maybe from 10-9 Third. Um, yep. So... I want a bit more information. I'm just going to play the cards that I need to play at the moment. I'm going to stick in the Jack of Diamonds, force out the Ace, and see what tricks we actually get. So here at this stage, I'm just going to count the clubs, see what I find out. Okay, so they only drew one round of clubs, and then they abandoned that. They're going to get spades right. So here we've got it. I've got another diamond trick. I could potentially go Ace of Spades, Diamond, Diamond Rough. I could... Try and build some heart tricks. Um, but then the spades are already set up. West could have something like two diamonds, two spades, three hearts, and six clubs. And they might go like spade to the ten, king of, diamond, uh, king of spades, pitching, something. Uh, so I feel like I need to get some heart tricks in early, but... We can only get one heart trick guaranteed before the King of Hearts is there. If my partner led a singleton diamond, then uh, I could go diamond, diamond, rough, and my partner can play a heart, and then I can try and get another heart. West also didn't draw any more than one club, so I don't think I'm in a rush to get my partner their, their roughs. Now, here what I could do is I could catch the Ace of Hearts and find out a bit more information, and... Where are we going to get six tricks, basically? I want my partner to have the King of Hearts and a Club Honor. So that would give us three heart cut tricks if hearts are four, triple, three. We've got one spade is four, a diamond's five, and the Club Honor is six. In which case, I just need to cash the hearts. 
Uh, also, potentially, my opponent could have a stiff diamond and the king of hearts, and we might get two hearts, a diamond, a spade, a diamond rough. At any rate, I sort of feel like I need my partner to have a the king of hearts, in which case I don't need to rush to cash the honours. If West has the king of hearts, then is it beneficial to knock out the hearts early? Well, I could go ace of hearts, heart, and I could win king, spade to the ten, king of spades, pitch. So I don't think so. So let's see what the diamond position is. And my partner's got a single one. So now we can give them a rough. And we want them to play a heart, so we'll play a low one. And the nine of hearts looks like they don't have a heart on us. So let's reevaluate here again. We've got four tricks here. Uh, and my partner may have five, four or five clubs. And if they've got, say, like king ten of clubs, then a diamond now will beat this. So West has three diamonds, maybe only one spade, but that would give my partner five spades. So West probably has another spade and only two hearts, which might be the king. I feel like my partner should have played the king of hearts if they had it. So let's now assume West has that, and I'll try and give my partner a trump promotion. Um, so West is going to be out here. They've only got clubs. It's the only line of play that makes sense. So do I want to pitch a heart, or do I want to rough in with the eight of clubs? So my partner roughed in with the nine. It looks like they've got queen, jack, ten of clubs. At any rate, my clubs are useless, so maybe I can trump promo my partner. Seems a bit of a stretch. Okay, two clubs down two for plus 100. 60%, uh, so two people doubled. I really don't think that we can come up with a double there. Someone up opened one no trump and then managed to make an over trick when the opponents can beat you. But I feel like two clubs down two is about right here. And notice that we worked out what, what we know about the cards and then what do we actually want to play for based on the information. So when my partner played the nine of hearts, they didn't want me to try and cash hearts, so going for the down rough seemed right. So 60% there. Um, other people came in and bid two hearts, which is just ridiculous. Uh, yeah, double's like the only thing with any upshot, and that's hoping for this sort of layout, which is really, really remote. Uh, opening one no trump, I considered it, didn't do it, but um, that's like the really other alternative. Two clubs down two seems very normal there. Whew, check this one out. 16 points and a 7-5 hand. So, firstly, I want to play this hand in game, but this is not a hand for two clubs. Do not open this one, two clubs. There is no way that this hand's going to get passed out. There's too many points, and uh, there's lots more information that can be gained. Um, so, opening one spade gets your shape in, like, starts finding your fit a lot earlier. A lot easier to find out what's going on. Um, now, with partner not bidding at all, I'm just going to jump to uh, four spades because that's where I want to play. Um, but if partner responded, maybe I might get to get my club suit in there. Lots of options, uh, but partner was not interested there. Okay, uh, so planning the play. We've got a spade loser and we've got three club losers. I could... Go like king of clubs, club to the ace, another club, see if it roughs. But the ten of clubs looks a bit ominous there. They've bid and raised diamonds, but didn't lead one. West could have a singleton club. Um. Alright, so is there any benefit not just like king of clubs, spade to the ace... And if I then catch the ace of clubs, if they rough in, they might be able to draw another trump. But that means they had three spades offside, which is very unlikely. So let's just stick the king of clubs in here. East has the queen anyway. 
if clubs are 3-3, three, three, I want to rough one. If clubs are 4-2, I want to rough two of them. Not that I really can. If clubs are 5-1, this gets knocked off anyway. Considering just ducking this, which is a bit out there. So I'll put on the ace. So they roughed one, so I got three club losers here, and they roughed lower than the seven. But I'm just going to play a club and try and rough as many of these as I can. Them roughing in, that's completely fine. Uh, I had these losers anyway. So they, they scored all three of their spades, but now I can rough the uh, fourth club. Fifth club, sorry. And now all the spades are good. So they, they scored three spade tricks, and now I've got the rest of the tricks. I might have been able to do um, a bit better. Might have been able to make an over trick. 78%. I guess not. Um, yeah, so just making was the best that I could do. I was wondering that if, like, I played West for a singleton club and king of clubs duck a club to the the queen and then I just need to rough two, but with West having both the queen and nine, it still is all good. Um, so lots of people making four spades. Uh, someone opened four spades. I think this hand's way, 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 way too good for that. Other people opened two clubs, and the opponents got in and found their sacrifice, and they never really got to find out any information. Um, but my opponents could have sacrificed as well. Like, one spade didn't really prevent them doing that. But, like, two, two clubs doesn't help you actually open, like, show your suits very well. Uh, so here, like, the opponents could have just stopped in, uh, defended five spades, and... Actually beaten. Wow. Six spades opening, two clubs, and then six spades double. Uh, yeah, so a few people a bit optimistic there. Um, I really, really like a one spade opening on these sorts of hands. I think it works a lot better. Anyway, uh, board number three. Ten, fourteen points. Balanced hand. Again, I'll just open a club. I'm a lot closer to upgrading this one, but uh, partner's weak, so I'll just pass. All right, so we got uh, my partner's got two heart losers, two spade losers, and a diamond loser. I just need to rough one of the spades. It's not really much more to this, I don't think. One no trump would have been a lot better. We would have got five club tricks, a spade, and two diamonds. We've got the same tricks really. We could, uh, one trick shy, but uh, eight tricks and no trumps is a lot better. Maybe I can make my fourth heart good in some circumstances where they misdefend. In which case, I want to be in the north hand to lead a heart. Okay, good. So, another heart. So, heart to the king. And now, a spade. I'll oh, duck this. I'm, I'm not in any rush. Spade to the queen, and another club, which looks like clubs are 3-1. So I'll win this, and another club over, get rid of that. I'll all be I'll be able to rough my spade in due time, but another heart. It looks like West is the queen of hearts here. So we'll rough that. And rough the spade. Diamond over. And pretend to squeeze east. So they have to hold on to the jack of hearts. And the diamond didn't quite come up good. But uh, very, very flat, 50%. Uh, two people got two hearts down one where they opened one no trump. And the opponents found the heart fit. Someone opened a club and then bid three no trumps, which has only eight tricks, but managed to make it. And someone reopened with a double. 
No, made a penalty double of diamonds. And then the opponent's got to three hearts doubled. Okay. That is complete randomness right there. So the one no trap opening actually didn't work on this hand. Opponents compete to two majors. So the preemptive three club bid worked a trick. So doing the normal thing just brought, brings you in 50%. And at the moment, I'm running at 63 in rank four. Board number four. Pass, pass, three clubs. So here we've got 13 points and a 5-5 five, five shape. Uh, I've got a short club, so I'm going to come in and bid three spades here. Pretty pushy. My partner's a passed hand, but I don't really want to sell out there. And we have a diamond loser, two heart losers, and a spade loser. So I'm going to lose a diamond, I'm going to lose a spade. I need, like, the queen of hearts on the side. We know that West has king jack to probably seven clubs. So let's hop up with the ace and draw two rounds of trumps. I, I can't let ace get a diamond rough ever. Okay. And now... We want to build, knock out the Ace of Diamonds. I'll have another entry to, back to the Ten of Diamonds. Okay, so we're going to go down. Unless... Unless West has the Queen of Spades, which they probably do, and East plays a club. Okay, so we rough in. And... Diamond over to the 10. And at this stage, I just want to get rid of any chance... Like, West could have a six-card club suit. Oh, no, they can over-rough here and exit a diamond. That was bad. I had it. I should have cashed the diamonds. Undo! Undo! Yeah. Mucked it. Yeah, so if I just cashed all my diamonds then I could have exited a spade and end played them. Um, but yeah. Messed that up, sloppy. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> Just went off in like this easy, make well, this makeable game. Only two people found it. Uh, if you pass out three clubs, then that makes comfortably. Four spades is a decent spot. It's like pretty pushy, but... Um, they can go down three on a diamond lead. Uh, drawing trump, like, here. Yeah. It's there to be made. This is, uh, I had it, I threw it away, just because I didn't want to do it. So spade, spade, and... That is not how you should do it. <laughs> Jack of hearts to the king, and West was looking at two stoppers. So spade, spade. Diamond Ace, King of Clubs, rough in, catch the diamonds, nice and easy. And just play for clubs to be 7-2 rather than 6-3. Exit and go to bed. And then you've got um, one more trick. So Vilma played it nicely. I managed to get 53% rather than the easy 96. It was I had it, had all the information, played one trick too quickly. And absolutely punished. Dropped 40% on that board, but still in rank 2 at 60%. That is definitely my worst played hand of the year. Um, Club a spade. Wow, this hand's good. Uh, 14 points, 0, 5, 2, 6. So I reckon we're going to be playing 6 clubs. But I can check if we've got a heart fit along the way. Okay, we do. Uh... What's four clubs here? Cubid, no ace of spades. All right, so if we're gonna go to slam, do I want to be playing in hearts or clubs? What's six clubs? Biddable clubs. Um, I feel like six clubs is probably a better slam. The hearts can set up to throw diamonds away if that's needed, so 
We're off two diamonds and they found the killing lead. There's a good hand to actually be able to cubid, um, but the robots only do first and second cubids. Um, so, down one. So I wouldn't have been able to find out about it. Six hearts makes... Uh, because you get the uh, spade lead, I take it. Six hearts goes down sometimes. So uh, if you bid four no trumps, then it goes five diamonds double. Yeah, that, that's a bit dubious. Uh, I, I think there's like with the robots, there's no way to find out if they've got the ace or king of diamonds. I think six clubs is still better because if your partner's got the king of diamonds, you want that protected. Uh, so I reckon I made a decent choice, which did not pan out well. There's the thought that like, I never thought that getting the spade lead to guarantee that. Could, like it could be better, but I reckon six clubs is still a good option. Uh, but yeah, anyway, only 21% for that. Still in rank six with 52. Moving on to board number six. So here we've got uh, 14, 15 points, balanced hand. Start with one no trump. Two clubs, single suited, two diamonds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I could have bid like two spades over this, but um, yeah, we're, we're going to compete to three spades. My partner's only got a weak hand, so we shouldn't punish them. Um, club lead. All right, so uh, I was thinking that we're going to get another chance to practice the defensive tips, which are where are the cards. Work out what specific cards you want your partner to have, and then what do you play? How to play them for? Anyway, um, diamond loser, club loser, few heart losers, but I can probably throw them on clubs and some spade losers. Looks like I want to draw trumps ASAP. So West has single suited diamonds because two diamonds is pass or correct. East has good support for diamonds. I've got six points opposite my fifteen, which is twenty one. West has the majority of them. But I need to draw trumps to prevent these club roughs. Okay, so I got two spade losers as well. So, just a small tidbit. There's lots of times where you pull up like a spade, find out this like bad inf like this bad split, and you got like queen eight. Neat, neat, none of it matters. So what I tend to do in this spot is just put on the highest card um, because it's less revealing to the person who showed out. Like they're the only one that doesn't know. If I play low, they're fairly sure of the situation. Um, but it revealed itself pretty quickly. Uh, yep. So two spade losers. A diamond loser, a club loser, and some heart losers. They got their tricks. Uh, I probably could have gone better if I let them rough. Wow. Okay, so down two. I thought it was down three for a moment. But 67% there. Uh, three spades down two. So if I ducked the opening club lead, maybe I can time it so that it's a bit better. But uh... Alright, so if we bid two spades, partner like jump raises to four spades. So that was a little bit fortuitous that I just uh, passed over that. Um, I, like, I really... Don't mind two spade bid at all. Like my spade suits a bit soft, but um, but we're favourable and why not compete? If you open one spade, you get to play in two spades. Uh, it's a little bit lucky. Anyway, this hand did not pan out too well, but they'll take my 68% now. 
Uh, running at 55, two boards to play. What can we do here? 15 points, 4, 5, 2, 2. Start with a heart. Pass, pass, and no trump. All right. Two clubs, stamen, two spades. Two, no, invite. May not have four card major. I don't think you've got a four card major. So, precisely 13 high card points. Isn't that nice to know? And East is 11 or 12, I guess. Um, right. Alright, so, well, I have 15. And let's say 11 opposite. So my partner's got about one point. Uh, if I start with hearts, then they get like a heart, tr a spade trick, a heart, and eight minor suit winners. So I think starting with the king of spades has to be right. Let's see how we go. All right. Um, that got ducked. So dummy's got ten points. So. A little bit less than their required precise 13. Um, they also didn't bid 2 no for the miners on this hand. Um, so let's say 12 points there, 10 is there, is 22. 18 points missing, I had 15. My partner can have 3. Could have 4, East could have the 11 card suit. So we're doing a bit of where are the cards. Then next we want to go, what precise cards do I want my partner to have? East probably has something like Queen Jack of Hearts and the Ace of Spades is uh, 11. And they might have the Ace of Clubs for um, a few more. So Ace, Ace, and Queen Jack. All right, so Spade, Spade, and now we've seen the Eight of Spades. I can't play another Spade in case East has Queen uh, Ace 10, and then they get all their winners. It looks like spades are triple four one, so no real benefit there. Um, unless we're just cashing out, like my partner could have ace fourth spade. Now they'd play high low in spades. Um, now that would give east. So if east has the ace of spades, ace of clubs, queen jack of hearts for their 11 points, they've got five club tricks and a spade. And a diamond. I could try switching to like the Queen of Diamonds because I'd be playing my partner for a diamond honor there. Um, continuing spades, we're hoping to set up three spade tricks and two hearts, but the opponents would have uh, so four spades and two hearts. Hmm. So. If I play my partner for, say, like the Diamond Honours, East having like 4-4 four, four in the Majors, my partner having, say, King king of Diamonds, then like, if my partner's got King 4th Diamond, we can get... Uh, well, we can only really get one Diamond, can't we? Because they can just duck it and then I don't get back like, my partner can't get on the lead. But we could get three spade tricks. If my partner's got the king of diamonds, I could switch to a low diamond. If my partner's got the ace of spades or the ten of spades, ten of spades, I continue a spade and wait for a trick. Ace of spades, we just get four spades and two hearts straight away. If my partner's got the king of diamonds, I can switch to a diamond, and we can get one diamond, three spades, and two hearts. And I'm not going to play my partner for the Queen of Hearts. I think that's too optimistic. The Ace of Clubs, it doesn't really matter. We'll get that trick later anyway. So East probably has the Ace of Clubs because they're holding on to all those clubs and they pitched a diamond. So I feel like my partner's either got the Ace of Spades or the King of Diamonds. And they played high-low in spades, but if I trusted the robot's signal, I would continue a spade. And if I don't trust their signal... Then I should switch to a diamond, and probably a low diamond at that. I will trust their signal, but 
against my better judgment, I really want to switch to a diamond. Okay, let's just cash it, our hearts. Uh, I shouldn't have cashed hearts, but I was always going to switch to a heart. Wow, well, my partner had a fit in heart. Okay, so I've got the uh, lot of the remaining tricks. Well, I made that hard work. But that's my general approach to uh, thinking on defense. What specific cards do I want my partner to have? And what's the minimum? And then what do I do to play for it? 92% for just cashing four rounds of spades. Lots of people let that make. A little low heart. So I really don't like a heart lead. King of spades, queen of spades, ace of hearts, diamond. Reasonable defense. But again, just coming back to maybe my partner signaled high in courage on the first one. And luckily, I trusted them, which, as I said, was against my better judgment, but it paid out this time. 92%, and we're in rank 3 with 60%. Okay, uh, so here we've got 10, 18, 21 points in a 5-card suit. Um, is this worth yeah. upgrading to 22 to 24? Probably. My, part, my partner's a past hand. But we'll do it anyway. I, I, like, we've got a five card suit, so I think it's worthwhile. Transfer. Yeah, I'll just bid three spades. Four clubs. They have spades and clubs. What's four hearts here? So four diamonds is support for spades. Four hearts is support for clubs. So... Which suit do I want to support? I guess because it's match points, let's just support spades. Four no trumps, Blackwood. And I've got three key cards. Six spades. Alright. So hopefully my partner's got like Queen of Spades, King of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds. No. They do not. Uh, so this appears to be on clubs 2-2 two, two with the king on side. Yeah, yeah, I'm really not seeing anything other than clubs 2-2 two, two with the king on side. Let's just draw trumps. Okay, that's a little bit of bad news. Okay, good, good, bad, and we're down one. I get to pitch my diamond away, and maybe they'll miss defend. <laughs> No, they, they held on to their ace against the slam. Anyway, 32% there. Um, I think upgrading that to six spades is... Uh, to two, that above... Yeah, 22, 24 is fine. And my partner, reasonably pushy, but uh, I'm happy with what they bid. If we had the ten of clubs, then it's actually an okay slam. Um, East had six, five in the red as well. Anyway, uh, finished with 57.15% in rank 5. Biggest regret, uh, not my two failing slams. Uh, both of those are perfectly fine. I reckon I did okay stuff on those and scored 21 and uh, 32. But my biggest regret was board 4, where I missed the, this end play. All I had to do was draw trumps, well, two rounds of trumps, uh, knock out the Ace of Diamonds. When they didn't switch to a heart then and there, I just get to play all my diamonds and then exit a spade to west would have to lead a heart to me. And I would have got like 90% for it. Uh, but instead, I was just one of the many that uh, just missed that really cool line of play. Anyway, that was the weekly free instant tournament. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.